Hey y'all, welcome back to another tutorial. This time it's our It's Fall Y'all Basket Weave Tumbler tutorial, which was our craft along in the glitter guide this month. So first I'm just gonna trim down my vinyl, get rid of all these extra pieces, and then I'm gonna pull out that outside square just so I can see the design a little bit better. Then I'm gonna go through and trim down my tacky tape to the edge of the design all the way around. And I'm gonna try to make this video relatively short uh, and cut out some of the repetitive parts. Once I've got that trimmed, we're gonna cut a piece of tape in half, put it to the side and wrap our template around our tumbler, lining it up along the seam and leaving a little bit of a gap at the top just cause I find it's easier to get a good seal with my epoxy. Once it's all lined up, we're gonna put a piece of tape at the top and the bottom of one side lay it flat find where i put my razor knife there it is and we're going to score you know a quarter inch half an inch to an inch at the bottom and peel that piece up then i'm just going to roll down the cup towards me pushing nice and firmly peel up our pieces of tape gently because it can peel up your little design especially on that bottom piece where all the little basket squares are which you can kind of see it comes up a little bit with the tape but it's a thick piece of paper so it's still fully covered i'm going to turn the cup around and peel up the other part of this backing and then once i've got that up i push down firmly and roll the cup towards me while peeling away that backing push out any wrinkles if you get any and there you go. You've got yourself a tacky taped wrap tumbler. And we can move on to our next step. I do have a little bit of an overlap on this one because I cut my template a little bit long, um, but that's okay. I do score it a little bit with my fingernail and I will go in later with my razor knife and put a slice in it. So when I peel up the next part of my uh, layer, it comes up with it. So we're gonna start with our vinyl. We'll peel off that first big layer where this vinyl's gonna go and pull up the coordinating spot on your template. You can use transfer tape for this, but I prefer to just hold it in my hands and do it with my fingers. If you don't press down too hard with the vinyl, it is pretty forgiving and you can kind of lift it up and push it back down if you need to. Once you have it lined up where you want it, I just go through and wipe back and forth with my finger or I have a little felt scraper that I couldn't find that I also, you know, just push the vinyl in so I don't get any air bubbles or anything like that. And we're gonna go through and do those rest, the rest of those vinyl pieces. Here's where I had that score and I just kind of give it a nice little slice. I do prefer the template that has the basket weave as the edge of the uh, tacky tape. So I don't have to worry about this vinyl not being seamless, uh, but it's not too bad of a finish right there. So now that our vinyl's on, we can start with our glitter. Before I do anything with my tacky tape, I go through with my lightest color and I sprinkle it all over my tumblers with tacky tape. Normally this is a white for me, but since this is only a three color design, uh, Sands of Time is gonna be my lightest. And I just go over the whole tumbler. It fills in any of those holes where it might have separated a little bit, uh, some of the edges. So when we go back in with our darkest color, that's not the one that's filling in the cracks because that one's a lot harder to hide. And once we've got that done, we're gonna start weeding for our darkest color, which is going to be toffee. Peeling all of these little outline ones. And for the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna do this front like quarter to a third of the tumbler just so you can see my process and so we don't sit here for 15 minutes watch me struggle to weed this because i already made it a little bit longer than i wanted to but we're just going to keep going through and cutting or weeding out all of these little outline pieces 
little by little. Uh, this really does help if you have a sharp blade. My blade's like six months old. I really need to replace it. Uh, it's on my list of things to do. It just hasn't happened yet. If you pick up pieces that you're not supposed to, you can just press them right back down and it works just fine. And then once you've got all of your little outline pieces, we can go in and put our first layer of glitter on. There we go. I'm gonna get rid of all those little pieces of paper and then sprinkle on toffee, which is our darkest color. Brush it off with my fluffy brush, clean up my glitter, and then we'll go on to weeding out our second color, which is gonna be these swivel pieces along the handle and the top of the basket, plus all of my little tiny squares, the little shadow pieces. There we go. And then we can go in with mantle, which is our medium color for this project. Brush it off again with our fluffy brush. Dump our glitter back into the jar. And last is all of our basket weave pieces. So we're gonna pull those off and then that'll be our Sands of Time color, which is our light gold. And there you go. And you'll do that all the way around the cup for time's sake. I'm just doing that part for the video and I'm gonna flip back over to show you the other one. That cup was what we did in our live where I used a prep tumbler. This was my original one where I did not use a prepped or a painted tumbler. I just used a powder coated tumbler. So I do tape off the bottom. This has been epoxied once. I tape off the bottom. I tape a piece of paper, a paper towel to it and I go spray paint the bottom. So I get a nice clean edge along my bottom. And my last layer usually has some mica powder in it. So that last layer will be sparkly. This one, I let it sit too long and I got my vinyl a little bit wet. So it lifted a little bit on those areas and my black didn't go all the way through. So we're gonna go through and fix that. I just use a little bit of glue and a fine brush. You can use a little bit of epoxy or Mod Podge or whatever your glue preference is. I just had craft glue sitting there. And I just go in and paint my little black lines in, which are the only ones I really need to make this look like a complete piece. Since I did have a little bit of a gap, I missed the middle of this tumbler. Once you've got all your little glue lines on, we'll just sprinkle our darkest color, which was Black Cat on this one and then let it dry thoroughly before we go through back in epoxy. Then you're gonna epoxy your tumbler and this is what it's gonna look like. You can add a quote if you'd like. I really love it as just a basket. Here's the original pumpkin one we did on our live to show that again as well. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. As always, if you have any questions, let me know, leave me a comment, message me on the Glitter Guy Facebook group. Thank you so much for hanging out. I can't wait to see what you guys make with this template. And thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Bye, friends.